Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kingdom here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys a really quick tutorial on how to fix the uh, Logitech gaming software uh, memory leak and CPU usage problem that people have been experiencing with the new Logitech uh, update. Uh, this is basically where when you go inside your task manager, uh, you'll see Elcor. Uh, it'll be using just an insane amount of memory and really high CPU usage. Honestly, Elcor should be using almost no CPU ever. But uh, there's been reports that people have been getting, you know, five to ten percent CPU usage in a memory leak up to basically it'll be using one gig. Uh, Elcor should be using anywhere from eight hundred, from basically eighty megabytes to like hundred and fifty megabytes, depending on how many uh, devices you have that are Logitech. Like me, I just have the G9X uh, mouse. But if you have a headset, a keyboard, and a mouse, it'll be using more. It'll be using more memory. But uh, here's a screenshot I took from a couple days ago where you can see my Elcor is using 627 megabytes, which is just atrocious, and it's using 6% of my CPU. Uh, it's not that big of a deal if you have like 16 gigs of memory like me, but if you don't, I mean, either way, it's still annoying, and there's no reason for the gaming software to do this. So today I'm just going to be showing you guys the fix. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do, if you haven't already done it, is you're going to need to enable uh, viewing hidden folders. To do that, you're going to go to your control panel. And inside your control panel, you're going to see a option called Folder Options. Uh, once you're inside Folder Options, you can go ahead and go to View. And once you scroll down to View, you'll see Hidden Files and Folders. You just want to go ahead and select Show Hidden Files and hit OK. Uh, and then the first thing you're going to need to go to start solving this problem is to go to Start, Computer, your local C drive. You're going to want to go to users, click on your username, go ahead and go to app data, local, and then inside there you'll see a folder called Logitech. Now I have multiple Logitech drivers, but it's just going to be plain old Logitech. And inside there you're going to see Logitech gaming software. You'll see the settings.json, which is the settings.json file. Sometimes there's a problem with the hex code that's inside of it that'll cause it to become ridiculously large. I mean, we're talking, you know, 15 to 500 megabytes big. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and delete this. It doesn't really do anything. It's just your settings file. And next time you restart Elcor, uh, it'll go ahead and it'll uh, go ahead and create a new one. So go ahead and launch your Logitech gaming software again, and it'll just automatically create a uh, it'll just automatically create a new JSON. The next thing you want to do is go to your settings tab inside your Logitech gaming software. You're going to see Arc Control. Simply where it says Mobile Service, just uh, Mobile Service, just disable it and press OK. After that, your memory leak issue should be gone. And uh, I haven't been running it for very long, uh, so you know obviously the memory is not going to build up. But I have basically we can sit here and watch this memory is literally not going to move. Where before, if you had the memory leak, it would go up by several hundred kilobytes every second. You can see it's simply not moving. Uh, so this pretty much eliminates the issue with the Logitech gaming software memory leak and CPU usage. I hope this guy uh, I hope this helps you guys. Uh, remember guys to subscribe, leave a comment if you have an issue, I'll try to help you if I can. Thanks a lot guys.